This is Edward Cleveland, The Minimalist. And you'll see my car that we're going to be using to haul this trailer. When I'm not making trailers, I'm actually a freelance Java architect. There's a few key points here. You'll notice that the door is not shaped a normal shaped door. And of course, you'll see why with the tire there. And you'll notice, also notice in the bottom right hand corner that there's a space there. That will be explained later. All the yellow there is 2x4s, not to confuse you. And I'm using the external structure for the 2x4s. I made sure that this side, which is the passenger side, is the only side of the trailer that actually looks like somebody could live in it. I did that on purpose, but you'll notice that on the bottom there's the side of the battery cover. Later on you'll see why it is when you look at the front view. I'll give you a chance to go ahead and read this here, just more information about the slanted wall in the front, and for aerodynamics, and then of course the yellow uh, being the 2x4s that I mentioned earlier. I really wanted to have the option of being able to have the trailer someplace where nobody would actually know that I'm living in it for that because I don't really go out into the woods. This is more for parking and parking lots and such. And so you'll notice on this side of the trailer, you can't really tell that it's, it's a living trailer. It looks just like a storage trailer and that's what I intended. I'm just going to touch on the fact that the generator actually exhausts this side. So if the generator is on, of course, people know what's going on. But that I built the generator directly into it so I can cover it. So that cover that you see there is covering the generator when it's not in use. You don't want to leave it there when it is in use, of course. And you'll see the 2x4 in the front. That's actually there for structure for the top, but it also helps to protect and secure the generator. You'll see from the front later. This is a quick drawing here. You'll notice that there's a cage that I'm building myself. It's a metal cage. But more importantly, the 2x4 is underneath the yellow section there. You'll see the structure there, which makes it very strong. And keep in mind that that's pressing down under the metal part of the trailer. That's not pressing on the walls at all. So that's why I was able to get away with not having so much structure in the walls. The food that I'll be eating will be a lot of dry food and canned food. And the good thing is that I can put them in the, I already have the bins for them. And they can strap right up on top, which gives me plenty of space. And I really don't like having my food products in where I'm sleeping. So you'll notice I have space for them, but it's really not my, the best best plan. I do keep water of course inside. This is really the front of the trailer and um, those 2x4s will be gone when we're actually using things. They'll just flip up the, uh, the, the doors and it allows you to be able to get to the generators uh, itself or to the uh, battery or to the propane. I did separate the doors for that reason. There's no reason to show the propane if the generator is on and I'm not trying to get to it. And it's, it stays waterproof this way, and I'll show you how. When I was initially designing this, I had thought to put the propane generator on the tongue, but there's just not enough space. And this this uh, a northern tool trailer that, I, that I'm using, there's just no space at all. You'll notice that window up on top there, that's because I want to be able to see if somebody's messing with my car. And so I could do that from the inside pretty quickly. And so other than that, I really don't like windows, a bunch of windows where I'm sleeping. So this, this should help you understand. One thing you're not seeing here is you're not seeing the uh, place where the food is underneath the bed. Um, there's there's areas where I want to have certain food in the inside, but most of all the dry food in the outside inside of baskets. And also the storage underneath the bed is good for clothes. I focus a lot on electronics. It's a very strong inverter, which you'll see later. But I focus on the electronics because I want to be able to play my Xbox. I want to be able to play um, on my computer. I want to be able to play on my iPad. Um, when I'm when I'm hanging out, I don't I don't necessarily want to be out there uh, hunting and fishing. This is not really my intent. This is more of a city uh, camper, and so you'll see that I have my heater, I have my cooking stove, but other than that, most of this is based for electronics. Keep in mind, I do have a car, and the car is a hatchback, so there's a lot of stuff that gets stored in the car as well. But what I'm going to do next, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this video. And in the next video, I'm going to bring you guys with, go ahead and show you the shopping. I'll send you some pictures here, let you see what decisions that I made, why I made them. Um, everybody's going to have their own decisions to make, so I'm sure you'll have a different opinion. And while you're deciding to subscribe to see the next video, while you're deciding to leave comments at the bottom, make sure that you give me your opinion. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll be just as polite as you are, and um, well, probably be more polite depending on who you are. But we'll go ahead and uh, show you how I built this. Um, the end result, you'll see that I'm actually building this outside in the parking lot. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, it'll be fun. Right? I should have a special thanks to a few people. I spent a lot of time looking at videos to find out what everybody else has done. I know there's a guy, up, I'll make sure I put the link down, a guy that built a um, plasticated uh, trailer for a bicycle. I thought it was really cool, super light. But most importantly, 
uh, Adobe has been helping me out a lot. No, they're not paying me to say this. I just happen to use their, their software. So it's pretty cool. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And hopefully I'll be in this trailer soon enough. All right.